Good evening. It's Thursday the 6th of July 2023. This is my trade review for today and on my screen at the moment is the hourly ES or MES chart. And what we're looking at is the last two days. You can see in the post market last night we had a bit of a sell off during the Asian market I presume. And then this morning um, from 3 a.m. or 8 a.m. our time, which is when the UK market is open, we had this area of consolidation on the hourly. And it was a good area of consolidation, an area I was watching because I wanted to catch the breakdown. Um, probably looking for the break and retest down. And um, But I was watching that area and I took my eye off it for about an half an hour this morning. And and then we saw this big move down. Let's go on to the, I'll come back back to this in a second because I wanted to point something out on the five minute chart let's go back to the pre-market here perfect so we had this area consolidation where where it was just going sideways and then this is the interesting bit we saw this area here pulling up and we're getting slight increased volume and then we got this red bar down which took out the last the last um, 20 minutes and that was on an increased volume bar and then we saw this sell off on increasing volume which shows there's weakness in the market and what I really want to see was in fact if you look there was a retest it broke down it pulled back and that was going to be my entry but I missed it um, that was probably me getting my lunch. <laughs> so my lunch made me miss something, but that's fine. And you can see what happened there. It put in this great GBI or pullback if you want to catch it there, and it just sold off. And it sold off quite significantly before the market opened, which was here. And and so my 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 plan today was to catch the re the it's already broken the area I wanted to get it on the rebound on the re uh, on the retest up here and so that was my first goal to, to catch the market there and then short it back down again and as you can see from the chart that never happened um, I had another area um, in my in my discord channel and it was it was a it was a higher risk wait for confirmation bounce off 44 40 so this area here all marked up and that was marked up before the market as well and it was coming into the zone and the zone is what I draw um, based on previous pivots and so I knew the area I wanted to get in and because I said wait for confirmation where was the confirmation yes yeah, so I said wait for confirmation and and what I didn't do was that because we saw this big sell-off bar and that alone shows weakness and the, the correct trade would have been the break and retest of this area and I always say every day I either look for the bounce or the break and retest but for some reason my brain was only focused on waiting for the bounce for the bounce and I missed the retest and it was perfect retest at the perfect point where I drew you know my level couldn't have been any more accurate it was spot on and but I missed it it came down it pulled, pulled back up as well and then it sold off and then I was trying to then go long here on each of these five minute candles and then especially when I saw this um, I didn't have a stop in place and it literally pipped down and back up again and that's the reason why I only have mental stops rather than physical stops unless I walk away from my computer and so I was still in it I didn't take any profit. I did take another level there, and I was still expected to come back up. And as you can see, it didn't, and I stopped myself out when it broke that candle. And so that was a stop, and it's a heavier stop than a heavier loss than I wanted because my usual plays is to get in on the entry of the zone, add one there, add one there, and then add one on the exit. So I get in, get in, get in, get in, and then add as it comes out, or I might get it on the pullback and re on the re break and retest out, but I didn't do that. So I was down quite more than my one hours, about two, two, three hours down, I think at this point. Um, so it wasn't a great way of trading. And one thing I forgot to say, I I had a contract from there as well, which I kept. 
because I was expecting to bounce up and I did add there but I, I stopped out of one as it came down but I kept one and I carried it into this trade so I was already in a losing position before I even started the day so not a good start of the day so my next level in the discord channel was the 4420 area and this is this, is this area here 4420 so this time even though it just sold straight through we had this big bar and it was really obvious that this was a big selling area and we had higher levels of volume here and the reason I thought we were going to bounce here because I saw this volume concentration as well but also I saw this double bottom coming in a treble bottom even and I was adding so I added that uh, did I add there? yeah I did I think I had two coming into here that's why I had two coming in which I, and I, I was expecting to do that so I stopped out there and I added another one back there so my average position is probably about at that point and I didn't recognize the break and retest and disappointing trade but anyway so got this area of volume here and and you can see where it just congested and just slowed right down the market was showing weakness because look at the volume profile we got high volume as it was selling off high volume and it was starting to decline decline the volume was getting weaker and weaker so the market was losing interest on this short sell and so here was when I was looking to get in because we got close to the so we got close to close to the average um, volume we had this volume bar which broke out which was this one here so I that was my first entry but in fact I got in on these candles because I was getting in just a little bit early and was it there no that's a complete lie it was I saw this candle and drawn and it's on these candles of increasing volume as when I decided I got in so I saw the next cat I got in there and I think I got in there so I thought it was going to break out and then I got in there and and then as, it, as I saw increasing volume I added again just there so I was in a full position now and ready for this run up and it was a good run up and it was perfect because I was reading the volume as well so I was watching always watching the previous candle and it was this area where I added because I knew the volume was the um, interest in by the buyers was getting getting more because I saw the volume increasing. So, so I held and I saw this big volume bar, and I did panic sell, sold a contract there, and I still held and that was a great RBI there. I think Ron in the um, Discord room also took a two minute RBI and that was about here. That was a great entry, and that was. I got I took the same area but mine was based on the volume because I saw the increased volume and then and then I came out there and I held a runner and I held it through the VWAP which is quite painful because it just sat along and I should have got out there and I originally wanted to get out there because of this volume profile and you can see it's an area where it where it stopped where it, where it was um, support originally, now this area is the ceiling or resistance and my mind, my, my brain said get out there but for some reason I, my emotion said no I want to hold it and get out up here somewhere and in the end I got out on that, just there and that was a good trade so that made back more than what I lost here and again using volume to profile um, the stock seems to be paying off quite handsomely at the moment I had one more trade at the end of the day and it's back to this area I was watching this volume here this point of control and also the fibs if I should put the fibs up we were right on the 618 so I got in as we touched the 618 and I added there and I added there and I was keeping my stop really really tight it was there and I lowered it down and I kept it above that pivot and I kept it above that pivot and that was I would have stopped out had we got any anywhere near there and I, I did okay because I, I took profits on here a couple of times then I added back when it pulled back and I 
took profit around about here, I believe. That's about right. Yeah, so I no, took profit there. This is the post market pullback. And then I saw it pulling back and I came out just there. So, and it's pulled right back again. So maybe I should have just held that last runner to see where it ends at the end of the day. So that was it. That was a good day. Um, so I ended up very, very pretty profitable for the day. And I'm happy how I traded. Not very happy with this area. But one thing I do want to look at is the hourly. I just want to show how nice this hourly chart looks. Look at this. So we've got the small volume bar there. Let's get rid of the um, fibs. So we've got the small volume bar, and that shows us with the small volume bar there. Then we had increasing volume here. We have increasing volume here. Then we had, I'm sorry, I mean, then we had a big sell off there with increasing volume. Then we had a, a sell off bar there. And then we had increasing volume there. And we had another sell off hour bar down bar there with increasing volume. A slight anomaly because this bar was a little bit smaller than the previous bar, but we had a higher volume. Um, what I mean is, this bar is one, two, three, four, five, six, about six, one, two, three, about four and a half. So this bar is obviously smaller than that bar, but we've got slightly more volume. So that shows an anomaly, and it's not a major one, but then I was expecting it to curve around a bit. And the interesting thing is, this next bar was lower volume, which you kind of expect, smaller bar, and, and they go hand in hand. The size of the bar should match the size of the volume, really. So if you get a big, a big sell-off candle, you want to see higher volume than a smaller, narrow range bar, you want to see smaller volume. But the interesting about this, we had rising volume on this sell-off, showing strength by the sellers, and then declining volume um, when it was pulling back, and that shows weakness in the buy in the buyers, because the buyers are just not interested in buying. Else we'd be seeing volume going up, like we saw here. And to me, I said just before the market closed, we just need to break this last candle, which I think we're probably going to do. And we're going to see another leg down, and that's probably tomorrow we're going to see a leg down. So here we go, we've had this little indicator here telling me there's an anomaly as well. Which you can see we had the previous bar. So it's a little indicator which tells you it compares to the current bar with the previous bar. And the previous bar volume is quite high. This bar volume, even though it's not completed yet, still 20 minutes ago, it's very low compared to it. So that potentially shows an anomaly and probably weakness in the market. And We've got half an hour left before the futures closes for an hour, but I'm expecting to see it break down. That's what it looks like. Anyway, so this is a perfect volume profile of what you want to see on a sell-off and a pullback. So I would I would take a screenshot of this and put it on your wall. That's what I've done. Anyway, have a lovely evening and I will speak to some of you tomorrow. Take care.